Hi, I'm making a mini plumeria ribbon lay here. I'm going to use this light gold 5 8 inch ribbon. Uh, this is a polyester ribbon. I'm going to use a slightly larger white ribbon. This is going to be a 7 8 inch white polyester ribbon. And so that's going to be like the white of the plumeria, the yellow interior, the flower. I've already strung a uh, thread through my ribbon here. That should be about the length of the lay, the finished lay. Plus maybe another foot would be a good uh, number. Got to tie the thread here, so I'm going to tie that real quick. You don't want the lay, the finished uh, lay to be slipping off the other side here, so not the thread. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a running stitch and a running stitch is just a simple up, down, up, down. Um, and you want to do it about every quarter inch. You're going to go up and down. And so you'll create this like accordion looking uh, fold. And you keep stringing that onto the thread. You'll keep doing that for the entire length of the leg. Now, throughout this process, what I'm doing is I'm also moving the ribbon down the thread and at the same time spiraling the ribbon to give it that flower effect. You'll see that as it takes shape or as I get further along in this play. So here we've sped it up. You can see a lot of the ribbon has been strung. It's got that yellow kind of peeking through the white ribbon. That's to give it the flower look and feel. So keep doing this all the way to the end of the ribbon. You want to make sure that you trim any excess ribbon at the end. So here you can notice I had a little bit of extra yellow. Went ahead and trimmed that off. Continue spiraling the ribbon down flower effect What I'm doing here. Then you're going to want to tie the two ends together. Knot it to make it secured. Now when I was doing this process, uh, for some reason the thread got stuck on the ribbon so I had to pull it apart. I got that cleaned up so I could properly knot lay together. You want to make sure that you're knotting it like at least three times if not more. Uh, you don't want that thread to be slipping as the person's wearing it. Go trim the thread off. Trim it. Uh, I like to trim it to the length of the ribbon itself. It, it tucks in and hides well. Here I'm making a bow to stick on the lay. Let me know in the comment section if you guys want uh, me to make a tutorial of how I did this. You can kind of see uh, what I'm doing here. Cut the ribbon and then I'll be fluffing this up into a nice pretty bow to stick on the play. Here I'm just doing a simple fluff of the ribbon. This is like those nice fancy looking bows that I like having some tails on the, the bow, so here I'm tail to tie the bow to. And here I'm just using some some rib um bread the bow and the tails together. Then I'm going to use this thread as well to tie the bow uh, to the lay. And I like to tie it close to where the knotted joint is. Uh, this just kind of helps reinforce that joint a little bit more. Clean up the tail of the ribbon if it's not clean. There you go. That is what I call a mini plumeria lay. Nice pink boat. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.